I'm Dr. Kate Reed. I'm the program director of the Jazz Vocal Program in the Studio Music and Jazz Department at the Frost School of Music. Did I better you hear from me? Pay no attention to but say. Why people do the same of every street is all in my head. This is my third year. I'm in the middle of my third year at Frost. Uh, I arrived here in the fall of 2013. I direct um, the top jazz vocal ensemble, six voices and four rhythm section players. It's called Extensions. And I also direct the top large ensemble, which is about 12 to 16 singers and rhythm section called JV1. But does that mean I teach a uh, sight singing class in the fall, and then I teach a, an improv class for uh, sophomores and juniors in the springtime. Uh, we find that a lot of vocalists, depending on their skill level, when they come in, there's generally holes in their in their skill in terms of sight reading. Uh, so in the fall, um, it's basically drilling sight reading and, and ways to approach sight reading. And in the springtime, it's uh, it's an improv ensemble where we are looking at ways of approaching a tune, being able to really sing those roots and, and outline the changes before we even start thinking creatively about building a, a solo or telling a story. Vocalists generally, uh, like everybody, but vocalists are so more reliant on their ears that establishing those skills and, and their own process, we all learn differently, so establishing their own process, how they need to learn a tune, um, and giving them different options to kind of build their own, almost like their own uh, own warm-up for like their private lessons. We're giving them those skills to, to determine how they can best learn tunes that will um, help them for the rest of their career. When I was in LA, I was about 11 years, I was teaching community college and I was the head of a uh, music department at a community college in Orange County. Uh, and I also was working as a studio, a session singer. And that would be anything from major motion pictures to commercials to voicing actors singing parts on um, on television shows and then also I worked for um, Hal Leonard Publishing and did a lot of their demos and then apart from that um, solo singing career I'm working on a new record it's a duo record balancing the teaching and the, the performance as we all do I think and I think that's one of the things at Frost that is so um, unique from other universities the faculty here is all working on their craft at the same time that they are teaching a heavy, heavy teaching load, and each of them helps the other, teaching assists the performance, performance uh, assists the teaching. The level of talent here, I think, is the first thing I would have to say, the level of talent at Frost. It's really amazing. I'm, I'm constantly surprised every day, standing in front of the students here, whether they be graduate students or undergraduates. So that's one of the first things. Uh, secondly, the level and the caliber of the, the faculty, and not only their, their musicianship and their performance and their resumes, which are 300 miles long, but their, their commitment to excellence. We don't lower our standards for anything. The music is the most important thing. And at Frost, we consider music as, as the highest art, and, and we are vessels for that music. And if that's our focus, that kind of sets the tone for everything. So I think that that's really, really special here. Consider the students to be individual, and we're lucky enough to have a pretty small program with about 20 undergraduates and four graduates. We are not looking to necessarily boilerplate or stamp out a bunch of vocalists that sound like this, that look like this, that act like this, that improvise like this, but rather to take what they do and what they do well, fill up their bag, if you will, of skills and, and musical uh, attributes kind of building a curriculum that enhances the individual artist. Um, and I'm very proud of that. And that's, that's kind of the way I look at every single student here. Not every single vocalist that comes to Frost School of Music wants to sound and be just like Ella Fitzgerald or Carmen McRae. Obviously, we have certain expectations about the skill level and, and the reading and the improvisation uh, and ensemble performance. But if we're using jazz as a teaching tool, we're really focusing on each individual artist and um, and how can we enhance what they have and, and send them out of here with the best uh, skills to continue on their path and their vision as, a, as an artist. That's a great question. I think, that, I think that's a question that all students coming into any university or college situation should ask whoever the program head is. You know, uh, 
my advice would be for all of those students to be very open to new experiences and understanding that what they think they know um, is going to change and what they think they need to know is going to change. Um, to be ready for a lot of different opportunities. Um, they're going to be asked to do many different kinds of things, all of it playing uh, a part in their, in their overall growth. I would also say to them, be really, really hungry and want to learn that you are here for a very short amount of time. It goes so quick. Every opportunity to perform has got to be addressed and approached as if it's the last. We are privileged to do this. And if we approach every day with that thought of, wow, I get to do this, then you set yourself up for a more positive experience and you'll, I think you'll learn more. I would encourage all students coming in to, to try to think that every day, coming in as this is an opportunity every day. You should take the words of others you've heard. I haven't a chance to.